We are headed somewhere super exciting today. Is it Argentina? No. Uh, Korea? No, it's even better. We are going shopping. We're about to reveal the 14 travel essentials you should be buying at the dollar store. Keep watching for the top tips, tricks, and unexpected travel hacks you'll find for just $1.25. Hello, Jet Setters. After more than 150 flights every year, I've learned that travel essentials don't have to break the bank. I'm Jeb Brooks from Greenergrass.com, stocking up for another trip, and you're coming along. Don't pass up the office supplies. I love using these folders to keep track of all of my travel documents for every trip I take. It's nice to stay organized. Let's test it out. <laughs> I fixed it. Who would have thought to look in the arts and crafts aisle? This aisle is full of ribbon. I like to tie some around my suitcase, so when it comes off the baggage claim, I know it's mine. I'm pretty sure I know which one she wants. Am I right? Polka dots. Okay, I see my bag. That ribbon makes it extra easy to spot. Doesn't hurt that it's bright blue, too. Here it is. Now I, unlike Suzanne, who picked polka dots, I picked a green ribbon for obvious reasons. Do you want to see another video, maybe about our packing hacks and the gear that we travel with? If so, let us know in the comments below. That could be a fun one to make. We've learned some tricks over the years. There are so many times where I've needed an extra bag along with my luggage. Maybe traveling on a train, you want something to put uh, just a little bit of uh, stuff in just for your day use, or uh, maybe you're making a quick trip somewhere. Well, a bag like this takes no space in your suitcase and is perfect. Constantly buying plastic water bottles at airports gets super pricey and it's pretty wasteful. So get yourself a reusable bottle and refill it post security. Quick aside, how much is a bottle of Fiji water in the airport? Well, here at the airport, this bottle of Fiji water costs $4.29 and it's smaller than the one at the Dollar Tree. I like to call it the x-ray tax. The only difference between this bottle and that one is that one's been through TSA security check. But what are you gonna do? I can't tell you the number of times I've checked into hotels and there just haven't been enough outlets. And that's where something like this can make a big difference. It turns one into three. This is one of my favorite travel hacks of all time. Have you ever been in a hotel room and there's been a little light just shining right in your eyes as you're trying to sleep? And that's where painter's tape can make a big difference. I used to use electrical tape, but sometimes leave residue, whereas the painter's tape is strong enough to block out most of that light and also doesn't leave any residue behind. So add this one to the basket. And don't miss the toiletry aisle. Now I love the ones here because they're a little bigger than travel size and that's great because they'll last you longer. Who can complain about that? Now the one trick though is to make sure that whatever you get doesn't exceed TSA size limitations because that can get you some trouble. But this is a great place to get all your toiletries before your next trip. You always seem to be at the airport before you realize you're out of deodorant. Whoops, not anymore, because I'm gonna get it here. You can also buy your own bottles and fill them with whatever you want. Shampoo, conditioner, hand sanitizer, anything. <laughs> One never knows. Kidding, we don't travel with a plunger. If you're like us and don't always travel alone, then sometimes turning on that light in the bathroom in the middle of the night, that can be a problem because it lights up the entire room. So that's where a light kind of like this can make a difference. It brings a little bit of light in without disrupting your travel partner, or in my case, Suzanne, and nobody wants to do that. Can we get this one instead? I didn't know you were a Spider-Man <laughs> fan, but sure. About 20% of our audience is female. Here's a couple items for the ladies out there. A pill case, but it's not for your pills. You can use it to store jewelry. It locks tight and they'll be safe and sound. Bath sponges. Two for 125. What a deal. We tend to have a lot of early flights and early mornings on the road, so maybe you don't have time in the morning to fully get ready. Put your hair in a headband and get your day moving. Now this item comes courtesy of my friend and fellow YouTuber Dennis Bunnick. Now I don't care if you're flying on an A350 or a 787, the newest airplanes in the sky, you can still run the risk of drying out when you're in the air on those long haul flights. And that's where traveling with some cough drops can make a big difference. So let's toss this one in the basket too. Do you think we need some probiotic? Now here's one that's a little out there. Pack of shower caps. So what you do with these is you wrap around your shoes before you put them in your luggage so they don't get your clean clothes all dirty. What's next? 
We all know how expensive buying snacks and food in the airport can be, so don't pass up the snack aisle. Jeb, do you need a blankie for the plane? Now there's sometimes we go on really long trips, very extended, and that means that our luggage starts to have an odor after, it's, after a time. And that's where one of these fabric sheets can really make a difference. Uh, you, you toss this in your luggage and, and it just makes that, that luggage smell a little fresher. <laughs> can I get this? Don't forget about those long afternoons on Amtrak. I mean, look at these. Bags like these can be super helpful. What I love is to use these for maybe a swimsuit or even sweaty gym clothes. That way they don't contaminate the rest of your luggage. What a time to be alive. Licorice isn't really on the list, but I have a sweet tooth. Now, let's find out how much all of this costs. It's time to head out. All of this for 20 bucks. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna travel like kings for a month, maybe even more, for 20 bucks. And with those travel essentials in our bags, it's time for our next adventure. We're flying to California and taking the train back. If you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe and follow along for more adventures like this. Between now and the next time, we we'll see you in the aisles. Look at all this good stuff. Bravocado. I'm into it. Oh, I pressed a button. Here's a couple items for you ladies. <laughs> That's, that sound weird?